Hey everyone, Anthony Aries here, and yesterday I sent y'all an email asking you, what is your big why? And I shared with you my big why and uh, what I posted on Facebook, and this is it right here. It's actually two big whys. Uh, my daughter, uh, Grace, and my beautiful, my beautiful daughter and my beautiful wife, uh, Grace and Heather. And I had asked you to post what your big why was in the comments section. Now... Listen, if you haven't done this, I urge you to do it. Um, this is going to really help you. I'm not doing this <laughs> for uh, I'm not doing this for my sake. I'm doing this for your sake. I mean, obviously, I benefit from it by putting my own big why up there, but I'm sharing this with you, and I want you to get involved because this is going to benefit you as well, right? By you doing this exercise, you're actually taking what's in your brain and you're putting it out there for the world to see and you're creating accountability and you're creating even further motivation that's going to help you achieve your dreams and desires and if you look through some of these comments they're awesome you know they're of people and their family you know you got Dan Madera over here with him and his family and you got Matthew Crump over here with his family and um, you've got Eric Stafford over here with his family and Ryan McKinney with his and uh, Mark Gould and people also telling, you know, what their big whys are, uh, Christine Childs and uh, people saying that they want to be able to spend time with their loving wife and uh, Alan wants to start an animal rescue shelter. By Alan writing this down from his brain and putting this out for the world, for God, for the universe, he's getting himself to be one step closer to getting what he wants. And if, you know, if, if this is too much work for you to do, then it's too much work for you to um, achieve your dreams and desires. I mean, really, think about what I'm saying here. If it's too much work for you to come on here and say what it is that you want, um, what your big why is, then it's too much work for you to, to, to achieve those dreams and desires. And I know that uh, I know that you want to achieve those dreams and desires. You wouldn't be listening to this video and this training that I'm about to give you. Um, uh, Mario or uh, Morio wants to upgrade his lifestyle. Nothing wrong with that, you know. Um, Nathan, he's in the same boat as me. He's got a brand new, uh, a brand new baby, July second. Congratulations, Nathan! It's this is one of the greatest gifts in the world, uh, being a, a parent. Um, the greatest. It took me forty-one years old to figure out that the greatest gift of life is life, and I'm really happy for you, man. It's an amazing gift. Um, I'm, I'm not saying it's going to come with ease, but I'll tell you something right now. It's completely worth it. Everything that all the challenges that I've faced, it, it's absolutely worth it. Uh, David Jones uh, listed his his big whys, which looks like it's his family, his wife. Uh, David Maine, same thing. Uh, looks like he posted uh, his uh, either his wife or his girlfriend or maybe his mother. I'm not sure. I can't tell. Picture's kind of small. Uh, I'm guessing it's your girlfriend. Um... A paradigm shifter is trying to uh, create money for children, um, which is freaking awesome. Um, Collins, it looks like it's his family. Uh, so this is awesome. So, you know, I'm just really excited about this. Now, I do have some stuff for you today. I do have some content here for you today. So I just, you know... Um, there's you got to have a big why or all this stuff doesn't matter like you could buy all the trainings and softwares you want and they're not gonna you're not gonna achieve what you want if you don't have a big why you don't have something to motivate you something to help you overcome the adversity that we all have to face as business people now i'm gonna jump into you know and it, 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 and you said the common theme was freedom right a lot of people wanted freedom to be with their family or spend time with their family or they're doing it for their family um and you know the money and the things, they're just icing on the cake. It's really just the cherry on top. It's the stuff that gives you the ability to go be with your family and to do what you want with your family and to give your family and provide for your family, right? So it all like kind of comes back to freedom, right? And so this is appropriately called the freedom funnel. Now, put your wallets away because there's no pitch. It's just some, some stuff I've been, you know, having in my head that I wanted to get out and share with you. Now, 
Um, there are three pillars to the Freedom Funnel. The first one is targeted traffic, and then your offer, and then conversion. Now, it is that simple. And if you really break it down to the ridiculous, everything, whether it's internet marketing, you know, if you're doing offline marketing, it, 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 this applies, right? So if you are um, a local supermarket, uh, you are in a location that has targeted traffic, right? Uh, and so people are driving by your supermarket or it's in a convenient area where there's traffic and people are gonna come in and they're gonna buy your stuff, your offer, right? They're gonna look at your offerings, your meats, your produce, and they're gonna buy it and then hence you have a conversion. All businesses run like this. It doesn't matter if it's a if it's a physical brick and mortar business or if it's an online business, right? So it really is important to 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 to, to realize that it, it is that simple. And as humans, I've said this before, we have a tendency to run on overcomplicate mode <laughs> as our default mode. <coughs> Excuse me while I get some water. I still have a my voice isn't hundred percent still. <clears throat> And I have a terrible cough and congestion in my chest still. Anyways, um, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm sharing this with you because I want you to see it really is that simple to have success in, in whatever it is that you do, okay? And we're going we're gonna to dig, dig deep into this, all right? So uh, let's talk about targeted traffic, right? There can be two forms of targeted traffic. And we're going to talk now mostly about online stuff because that's what we're doing, right? I just brought up the brick and mortar example so that you can see that everything runs with these three pillars in business, right? It's... You need traffic, you need an offer, and you get a conversion, and boom, you're making money, right? That's, that's, that's how it works. And in an online world, you know, for targeted traffic, it can be free traffic or it can be paid traffic, okay? Now, let's, uh, let's talk about free traffic. It usually comes organically from search engines. There obviously it can come from social media and that stuff as well, but the majority of it comes organically from search engines. I think that, like, Google is, like, 90% of all the... Uh, organic traffic on planet earth okay the free the free stuff and you know here's the caveat i'm sure you know this and you've heard this before and even if you're new and you don't know this you're going to learn you're going to learn really quick that free traffic isn't really free because an investment of capital and time i didn't put that in there time is required to launch the web property that's going to attract that free organic traffic okay but there's a reason why it's called free traffic we'll get into that it's because the investment of that capital, um, it could potentially be paid back rapidly if you have a good offer or if you're in a good niche and you've, you've created a great web property that will attract free organic traffic rapidly. So you'll get a return on your investment to, you know, that you use to launch that web property. You'll get a return rapidly. And then what happens is it can potentially give you free targeted traffic after you recover your investment for years after you made the investment with little to no maintenance. Now, there's obviously a lot of uh, variables in there. Um, it can be taken down. It can be de-indexed uh, by the search engines without notice, which really would stink. But, you know, I think it's important. I don't think. I know it's important. See, I'm even working on my own personal language. I'm constantly working on myself, and I'm correcting myself. And it, it, it is something that you need to accept uh, it, when you when, once you accept that nothing is consistent um, you you will be okay with things getting taken down from the search engines right I mean even if you did pay traffic you can get banned from a pay traffic network I've been banned personally from Google AdWords and I lost a Facebook ad account so you can get banned from a pay traffic right so um, it's important to understand that nothing is consistent. You need to accept that fact, right? Like, think about it. Did you think that Blockbuster or Kmart were going to go out of business? I didn't, right? But they did, right? They didn't evolve. Uh, they didn't. They didn't keep up, and so they died, right? And so once you accept the fact that nothing is consistent, uh, and that you have to continue continuously evolve, you will be okay if stuff gets taken down. Right? You just learn to accept it. That's, that's just part of the game. It's a cat and mouse game. And um, this, is, this is what it's all about. Like getting that, right? Like accepting that, understanding that. The sooner you do, the sooner you're going to have success. If you want to be an entrepreneur or you want to own your business, you have to accept these truths. You have to. Otherwise, 
this isn't for you. You need to just keep on with your nine to five operation and not get involved with doing this stuff. Okay. I'm just being straight, straight forth with you. I'm being forth with, I'm, 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 I'm letting you know what the real deal holy field is here. Okay. Now let's get back to, to business here. Now, what is awesome about this is if you dial this in right, it can be like an ATM, you know? It can be like an automatic money machine with minimal employees, simple to leverage and scale, doesn't call in sick, shows up to work every day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, which is very exciting. Um, it does require a high investment of time to build the web property that is going to attract that free target of traffic. So. <clears throat> I think when you know all the, um, and, and there's uh, more things that I'm probably not even thinking of. When you are aware of this and you accept what you have to face, it becomes easier to do the task at hand. Now let's talk about paid traffic. It can come from all sorts of online channels, right? It can come from social media sites like Facebook and YouTube. It can come from search engines like Google and Yahoo. It can come from native ads uh, that are on blogs. Um, so those are like the ads that show up on websites that look like news articles that have news headlines. Um, it can be banner ads on websites and blogs come from all sorts of channels, right? Money is required to keep the traffic on. No money equals no traffic. As soon as you stop paying for the traffic, boom, it stops. Okay. There's nothing there to get remnant traffic. Like when you build a organic, uh, online web property that attracts uh, traffic from the search engines that will have remnant traffic after you make your investment. Uh, there is a high failure rate with paid traffic campaigns because money is required to test offers. I've been doing paid traffic for a long time and uh, I think in my whole entire life, <laughs> out of the hundreds of campaigns that I launched, two of them right out of the gate started making money. Uh, all the other ones I had to tweak, I had to test headlines, I had to buy data to eventually get the campaign to a point where it worked. So it comes up, it basically comes out to, do you have enough money to buy the data to get the campaign to work? That's what it comes down to, you know? And uh, I'll tell you really, really quick, quarter one of 2014, I blew through $10,000 in Facebook traffic trying to dial in, getting leads for uh, one of my products. And um, we got no return on investment. And after $10,000, I basically, and I tried all kinds of stuff, different headlines, different modalities. We tried different squeeze pages. We tried giving different sequences. We tried all kinds of stuff. It wasn't just I threw 10 grand at one thing. Like we bought a lot of data and it just got to a point where we're like, Jesus, this isn't working out. Uh, we need to cut our losses, which is what we did. So um, it's important to know that, right? So most people run out of money before they find the winning campaign. Uh, you can also be banned from paid traffic networks. Like I said earlier, you know, you can get your site taken down from the search engines, but you can be banned from paid traffic networks like Facebook ads or Google ads. And um, the thing that's awesome about paid traffic is once a winning campaign is discovered and I've been in this situation, it is like hitting, <laughs> it is like hitting a diamond mine. Uh, once you discover a winning campaign and you have the capital to scale it, you can do it rapidly with paid traffic. Um, which happens much faster than free organic SEO traffic and you can create more money than you ever thought possible, faster than you ever thought possible. It's quite an exciting experience. I've had that happen a few times also. I've, I've been doing this for a long time, folks. I've been online since 2002 now. Jesus, good gravy. Thank God. Uh, it's been an awesome ride. I've been since uh, winter of 2002. And so I've got a lot of experience with this stuff. And I'll tell you, the, when you hit a winning campaign and you've got the ability to scale it using paid traffic and you've got the capital to do it, it is exciting. It does require high investment of time. A lot of people think, oh, I'm just going to buy this traffic and I'm going to forget about it and I'm going to make money. Wrongo bongo. It requires a high investment of time to find offers, right? This is the key. You have to match the offer with the traffic source. Not all offers are created equal. Not all traffic is created equal. You've got to dial it in, match them up and get it to work. And you got to tweak your campaigns. And that takes a lot of time. A lot of people think, oh, you know, it's easy peasy. I'm going to launch a paid traffic campaign and I'm just going to sit back and suck down some pina coladas and money's going to come rolling in. 
I'll tell you what, if that was the case, I would not be here. <laughs> I'd be sipping pina coladas, right? Um, all right, so let's talk about what the smart money is doing um, to get their freedom funnels going, right? To get their traffic going, to get their offers. We're going to talk about offers a little bit. <coughs> I'm going to get some water here. All right, what the smart money is doing. Uh, if you have a limited budget and want to learn and bootstrap, uh, so this is if it, let's talk about if you have a limited budget, right? So if you have a limited budget and you're willing to learn and you're willing to implement and you're willing to bootstrap, bootstrap means to put in sweat equity. It means, you know, you're going to trade your time for dollars to get your campaigns off the of ground, which I did, right? And uh, I even to this day, sometimes I'll do it because I enjoy, I enjoy doing it. I enjoy doing things myself. I enjoy tinkering in the labs. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, if you're willing to do that and learn about search engine optimization, which is about getting free targeted organic traffic, it's the way to go if you have a limited budget. Because with paid traffic, you're going to run out of your budget. I'm telling you, it's going to happen. You're going to run out of money and you won't be able to then work on getting free targeted organic traffic because you blew your money, you blew your budget. You don't have any more money. You can't set up a organic traffic network, right? You can't do it. Uh, because all the monies you had, you blew it. So uh, I basically already said that. So 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 you you you've lost out. So your your best bet, risk wise, you know, if you do a risk assessment, this is what I'm trying to do for you. If you do a risk assessment, your best bet is to focus on SEO. <coughs> I'm telling you, it's their best bet because you, you're going to learn, you're going to acquire knowledge on how to do it, and that knowledge is going to compound and there's going to be value to it. You can sell that knowledge. You can consult with that knowledge. Uh, so even if you try to launch your own organic traffic network and it fails miserably, you've at least gained the knowledge to then go and offer to do it for somebody else who has the capital and who is in a good niche and who has a good offer and you could consult and make a lot of money doing that. Okay, And then you can come back to working on your offer and your traffic network. Now, if, um, if you do have a healthy budget, you could consider doing both. However, uh, if you are smart, you would double down and commit more resources to building more organic web properties. You'll have a, a more longer lasting um, uh, web properties. You'll have more of them. Um, and they're going to generate traffic uh, that for longer than if you did a, a paid traffic um, campaign. Um, what you could do too is uh, you could use both of you, folks with limited and folks that have healthy budgets, you could use profits generated from the free targeted traffic network to pay for traffic for the offers that are converting best. Now, I'm going to repeat that because that's a big, that's a big aha right there. So you could build your free targeted organic traffic network right through SEO knowledge. You could build that network. You could generate traffic. You could drive that traffic to offers that are you know, different ones, you can test that ones, find the ones that are converting with that free traffic. Um, and then you can go and um, use the money that you made from the free traffic and do paid traffic to those offers and scale them up quick and like really blow things up. Okay. Now the mistake most people make, and I'll talk about this when we go over offers, is they drive traffic to a specific offer and uh, you don't want to do that. We'll talk, we'll talk about owning the niche versus owning the offer or driving traffic to a specific offer. Let's do a quick recap. Essentially, this is a recap of traffic. Uh, essentially, the smart money, the first thing they're doing is investing in a perpetual traffic machine that uh, will continue to generate free organic targeted traffic longer than a paid traffic machine. Okay, And then they're taking the profits from the perpetual traffic machine and funding the paid traffic machine to scale rapidly or taking the profits from the perpetual traffic machine and going and building more of them in different niches or going after different keywords, okay? So let's talk about <coughs> offers, right? There's essentially two types of offers. This is the affiliate offer. So it would be like something that's like CPA, cost per action, so like diet pills, pay per call. Cost per action means you will get paid for an action that someone takes. And usually CPA offers are diet pills that are like those free trial pills. Get a 30-day trial offer of this diet pill. You just have to pay for shipping and handling. Uh, pay per call is a CPA offer. There are affiliate offers out there where uh, you can sell leads, pay per call leads, 
uh, through a affiliate network that just does uh, paper call affiliate offers. So you don't even have to get clients. If you don't want to deal with clients, this is for you, and you want to you know, create lead gen sites, you could create lead gen sites, you get an affiliate tracking phone number, you put it on your site, someone calls that number, you get paid from the paper call affiliate network. <coughs> email or a zip code submits. Uh, so people fill out an email form or they enter their zip code and you get paid like a buck, 75 cents to a buck for every one of those. You can drive traffic to something like that. Uh, exercise machines, insurance or finance offers like you would just fill out a long form and you can get anywhere from 35 to 50 bucks for a finance or insurance offer. And free trial offer, we talked about those like the diet pills, uh, where you just have to pay shipping and handling. Then you got physical product as another type of affiliate offer. Usually Amazon is the go-to place to do the physical uh, stuff. Uh, but there's other, other things that you can sell that are physical. And then, you know, info products or softwares, they have affiliate offers there. JVZoo, ClickBank, Warrior Plus, again, there are others. These are just a few examples. Uh, let's talk about the good and the bad. Um, one of the cons about, uh, about uh, an affiliate offer is you don't own the offer. You don't, you don't own it. You're just an affiliate. You're a middleman. Uh, and that offer can be discontinued and the terms of service can change without notice. I've experienced <laughs> both of these phenomenons and they suck, especially when you create a traffic machine for a specific offer and they discontinue it or they change the terms of service. You just wasted your time and you wasted your money. Um, you're going to be dealing with advanced competitors in the affiliate world uh, and they're, uh, they're tough. They know what the hell they're doing. Uh, these are people that have been doing affiliate marketing, some, some of them for decades, you know, almost 20 years now. <coughs> so you have to go against people that really know what they're doing. Okay. Uh, let's talk about the pros. You, you don't have to create a product. There's no customer service required. It's a great way to discover high converting offers. And then you can improve and uh, create your own offers. So you can take an offer that, that you've been doing really well with as an affiliate and you can go and create your own offer and make it better than that offer and, uh, and then own the offer because you, you know it converts, right? And you can create longevity by owning the niche. So uh, one of the things you can do that you, I don't see a lot of people in affiliate marketing doing, only the really smart ones, uh, if you want to get into affiliate marketing, uh, you, really what you want to do is own the niche. You want to drive traffic to a niche, not a specific product. So for example, uh, if you wanted to focus on you know, female weight loss, uh, you would want to position your content around female weight loss stuff, not specific products. So you would want to create some sort of a lead magnet uh, for a female weight loss resource guide or female weight loss tips and tricks or female weight loss hacks. You create a, a, a squeeze page or a lead magnet that gives people this away for free and now you own the niche. You're getting females that are interested in weight loss and you could propose other offers to them. You're not stuck now driving traffic to a specific offer. I hope that makes a lot of sense. That's what you really want to do. You want to own the niche. So if, stuff, if offers are discontinued, you can easily swap out with new offers because the audience is still the same. Huge point here. Okay, that's a big deal. Now your offer, right? This is the other kind of offer. It's your offer, right? Like what is your offer? Are you doing some sort of, some type of coaching, some type of consulting? Are you building and renting local niche websites? To bit, you know, you can rent those to, 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 for local businesses. You can either build them and flip them to local businesses or you can build them and rent them to local niche web properties, to businesses. Uh, are you creating an info product yourself or a software product yourself? Uh, so like uh, for info products, something like a niche info training, like a weight loss product or a dog training product, uh, software would be like an Adobe Air or software web-based, like software as a service kind of a thing. Um, and then you have a service offer. So like SEO, like you're doing SEO services for someone or doing social media services for someone or managing pay-per-click for someone or selling leads to a business, right? That would be a service offer. Let's talk about the good and the bad uh, with that. So a con of your offer um, would be you would have to develop the product or fulfill the service and provide customer support. That would be one of the cons. And when you reach market saturation, you're going to start development over and come up with a new offer. Now, one of the pros 
is you control the pricing, that's a big deal. You can also create recurring income products or services that you control, right? You can have an army of affiliates generating free traffic for your offer. You're no longer the affiliate. You are the offer owner and people are driving traffic to you. You can create a series of offers within the same niche. Uh, remember, own the niche, right? So if you own the niche, you can start finding offers that complement in the niche, you know, that complement other converting offers and you can start to create, you know, complementing offers that convert and you could, you know, create even more sales from the customers you've acquired. So let's talk about what the smart money is doing with offers. They're controlling the niche and they're building assets that attract traffic for the niche and not specific offers, right? That's really what you want to do. You want to drive traffic to the niche. So you can control the niche and build assets that attract traffic for that niche and not specific offers. I want to repeat that because it's really important. And then you want to use affiliate offers to find converting offers. And then you want to build your own offers. That's what they're doing. They're building their own offers. They've modeled and improved them upon the converting offers. And then you want to rinse and repeat with complementing offers to create more sales from present customers while also generating new ones. This is how real money is made on the internet. Okay. Um, and you will then get this conversions. <laughs> and this is what conversions lead to. Uh, this is pretty <laughs> breathtaking. Um, and, uh, you know, it can be anything that you want. This is just an example. Now, here's what I need you to do. I need you to stay tuned for tomorrow um, because I'm going to focus on showing you how to rapidly launch a free targeted organic traffic generating machine. And uh, we're going to focus on the most minimum effective way of doing this. A lot of you already know that I love minimum effective dose strategies. So, I'm going to show you the easiest way you can possibly do this. So you can at least start to get momentum sooner rather than later. And I'll show you how to get this started with the least amount of tech overwhelm so that you can focus on the fun stuff you like doing. All right. And this is what we're going to be doing over the next few days. We're going to be showing you this kind of stuff. Uh, there is no cost to you. This is a thank you training uh, for being a part of my list, being a customer of mine being tuned into me. This is my way of saying thank you to you and giving back to you. Now, here's what I'd love you to do. Just take a quick minute and leave a comment down below. This content is private. I'm not posting this on my public Your Super Prosperity blog. This is on my bonus right now.com web property. So this is only for you and your eyes only. And I would love to know what you think. What's your feedback? What do you like about what I shared with you today? What do you not like about it? You know, do you see your freedom funnel? Do you see how this makes sense? Do you see how if you get this and accept this for what it is, you can move in a direction that you want to move in with your business. All right. I hope you enjoyed the video. Yours for prosperity. Anthony Aries.